This is Ernie DeMuth, who is uh, president of the Bancroft Area Forest Industry Association, and Ernie runs his own DeMuth Forestry Services. Um, Ernie, tell us who uh, Bafia is. Uh, well, Bafia is uh, comprised of uh, approximately 25 members. Um, they're typically small, family-owned and operated businesses uh, in the forest industry. Um, they're uh, forest practitioners ranging from uh, sawmill owner-operators to skitter operators, uh, truck drivers, uh, forest technicians, uh, woodlot owners and managers. Um, our mission statement is to promote and sustain the forest industry in Bancroft. Sustainable forestry is a, a big part of our goal. We meet once every two months uh, to, to voice our concerns and to, uh, to develop action plans to, to confront the issues that are facing the forest industry today. Tell us, Ernie, what are the primary goals of Bathia? We, we have many goals. Uh, the number one goal would be, as mentioned before, is, is, is sustainable forestry. Um, raising awareness on the importance of, of sustainable forestry uh, in this day and age. It's not only good for, for the environment uh, and uh, for future generations, it's also good business to, to, to practice uh, sustainable forestry. Also, sustainability for job growth, that, that we provide new education for new workers and, and existing workers. Another goal would be um, to increase landowner awareness uh, and, and education on, on the sa safe practices and, and how forest management is done in, today in this, in this area. The principles of forest management are um, uh, based on, on the science of how a forest works naturally. Um, it's, it's what's called silviculture. And if you were to define silviculture, it's defined as, as the art and the science of producing and tending a forest. Um, it's the theory and practice of controlling a forest uh, and the composition, the growth, and the quality of that forest. Another goal would be to, uh, to provide information uh, and input on environmental issues at the local level. Another thing that uh, BAFIA supports is uh, conducting market research uh, and investigating opportunities for growth uh, of the local industry. Um, for, for new sectors such as value-added wood products, wood pellets, um, and so on. VAFI has put out a, uh, a forest industry directory for landowners. So get, you can uh, get a copy of this at the uh, Ministry of Natural Resources. Uh, this has all the members of BAFIA. Uh, so a landowner, if they want to come in and they want to get some harvesting done or some tree marking or, or maybe do a managed forest plan, they can go to this directory and they'll, they'll know that the people here follow the same uh, goals and aims as BAFIA. There's a number of issues that uh, BAFIA undertakes on behalf of the forest industry. Um, tell us about them. We have a lot of accomplishments that we've, we've done uh, through the lifetime of BAFIA. We've, we've put on many workshops. Uh, including GPS training. Um, we put on uh, workshops with the Stewardship Council and Ministry of Natural Resources, one called uh, Woodlands, Wildlife and You with, uh, with private landowners. We've put on training courses for tree marking um, and volume estimate workshops uh, for wood products. We, we have guest speakers come in into meetings uh, and they've spoke on many topics uh, including uh, raptors. We've had uh, um, the species at risk biologists from the Ministry of Natural Resources come in and speak to us about the species at risk legislation that's coming out now. We've had speakers come in on forest business management. Uh, we even get uh, people coming in talking to us about uh, chainsaws and what, what's, what's, what are the best chainsaws to use. There's a number of uh, organizations in the area that you work closely with. One of them is the Bancroft Area Stewardship Council. Tell us what the relationship is with the Stewardship Council. Well, Bancroft Area Stewardship Council has been a part of BAFIA from the inception of BAFIA. The Stewardship Council uh, works with landowners and, 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 and community projects. Uh, land stewardship means caring for land, air, and water, and sustaining the natural processes on which life depends. The Stewardship Council promotes this message to landowners, private landowners, and, and BAFIA's 
is along the same lines as as this. It it's, it's tries to promote stewardship and give a responsibility to private landowners to, to maintain and care for their land. The Stewardship Council has been invaluable for doing research for us, anything we need to know as far as finding uh, grants to help uh, promote what we're trying to do or support our initiatives. They, they're great at digging into to that stuff. They uh, perform a great um, administrative role in, in, the, in the meetings. So they help us run a good, good ship as far as a committee goes. Their support has been invaluable. So it's really emerging with uh, private business, merging with government resources to work together uh, on behalf of the forest industry. Exactly. Another organization uh, you're in partnership with is Trees Ontario, and uh, uh, as part of that, you undertake planting trees. So tell us about uh, what your efforts are there. Uh, well, Trees Ontario offers a great program to landowners for, for planting trees. They, they provide assistance uh, in, in education and, and um, uh, education on, on how to plant, what species to plant. They also give uh, assistance in, in funding. Uh, to, to plant trees uh, and it even goes beyond just putting the trees in they'll even have funding for um, for tending and making sure that the, the trees survive um, the stewardship council is the main agent for administering the program but then they work in partnership with Bafia uh, especially on some of our big projects for putting these trees into the ground you're also involved with uh, educational programs for youth in the area Forestry in the Bancroft area is is, is a major industry S since day one. Mining was was a uh, was was a major industry, but but forestry has persisted and is still a a big employer in in this area. Um, it'd be really nice for the the young people that decided to stay in this area if they had work to go to. So uh, for Bafia, it's very important, as said before, to maintain a good forest industry, but it's also very important to have a good workforce in place so that we can, we can take from, from the, this workforce. We've been involved with, strongly involved with uh, uh, a program which is run out of the North Hastings High School. Um, it's called the NOS program, the Northern Outdoor Study Program. They also run another program called FIRST, uh, Forest Industry Related Skills Training. Because there's many facets to forestry, there's, there's um, habitat management, uh, the science of tree marking and, and silviculture, uh, and forest ecology, um, right to uh, running a, operating a skitter and, and, and operating a chainsaw. These are very high, highly skilled positions. So we, um, we support any initiatives to, to train our young people to do this. We've also been uh, involved in the, in the public schools. Uh, grade two and three, just uh, teaching, showing them what, what the, the, the logging truck looks like, what the skitter tr skitters look like. One of the things that uh, we really saw as we worked on this project was uh, that an industry that was at one time driven by horse and water power and manpower has been replaced by science, technology, biology, um, and it's a really com uh, different industry than it used to be, and that's one of the things that I found fascinating is how this industry has evolved from uh, just brute force to technology today and uh, environmental practices. Well, one of the things that we heard c consistently as we went about this project, and uh, it didn't matter who we were talking to, whether it was you, uh, whether it was the harvesters, uh, whether it was the forest technicians, everybody said the same thing. They talked about 25 or 30 years from now. To me, that's incredible long-range planning. And uh, if you look at most businesses today, a long-range plan is a five-year plan if you're lucky, and it's mm -hmm. usually a three-year plan. Mm -hmm. And to be able to think that far down the road, uh, to me, is, is a real testament to what the industry is doing. No, it's a, well, it's an interesting point from somebody from outside of the industry looking in to, to point that out because in, in, in forestry, that's just our language. It, it, it's the way we think. We are always thinking 25, 30, sometimes 100 years ahead, stuff that's beyond our lifetime that we're thinking what's going to happen and, uh, to the forest. And, 
And it all boils down to that, that nothing is static. Nothing stays the same in, in nature. And um, it's in a continual state of change. And the, the amazing part with forestry um, is you can, you can determine and predict how the forest will change and, um, and how it's going to grow. It's, it's what's called forest succession. Um, and the, the, the good part about forestry is, is, is we have an influence over that. Uh, we have an influence by either altering, improving, maintaining, we can destroy or speed up that change. In forestry, a lot of ways we're, we're fixing now, in this area, we're fixing a lot of the mistakes that were done in, in the past through, through clear cutting, um, where, when it's not, n not uh, uh, suitable, um, through uh, um, high, what's called high grading by taking the biggest and the best trees, uh, by doing what's called a diameter limit cut where we take over a certain amount, a size of tree and, and we cut it. These, are, these were bad forest management practices and, and in a lot of ways we're working with, with that now to try and bring the forest back to a more natural state, uh, mm -hmm. what they were to begin with. So uh, really what you start out with is you start out with the long-term plan of uh, what we're going to do in this forest 25 years from now or uh, even as you say maybe 100 years. Then you get to a prescription is what are we going to do today and it even drills down further when you go into the bush and start marking the trees. Now we're talking about a specific plan and we've gone a step further mm -hmm. then. And, and I'm assuming that the prescription doesn't always address um, everything you're going to see when you go into the bush as a, a tree marker. Exactly. And you need a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge. And the more you learn, the, be the better you can apply this, this art and science.